Merry Christmas everyone! Today on MTG Unpacked, it's a special opening. We're cracking six collector boosters from each of the recent sets that have actually had the collector boosters. So we have Throneville Drain, Theros Beyond Death, Ikoria Core 2021, Zendikar Rising, and Commander Legends. And we are going to see which set gets us the best pulls. So leave your predictions in the comment section which one you think will be the best. And we have a very special guest today. We're bringing something back just one day only. We're doing some pack blessings with a very special individual here. So he will take care of the blessings like so. Hopefully that will get us some crazy pulls. So let's get stuck into it. So we start off here with Throne of Eldraino. And which of these is your favorite set? This was the OG, some might say the best of the collector boosters. So let's crank that lighting, there we go. So we start off here with Queen of Ice. And these are mostly foils. Bake into a pie, Wildwood Tracker. Fortifying Provisions, Rimrock Knight, Weapon Rack, Wishful Merfolk, Sir Eleonora the Discerning, Inquisitive Puppet, a very nice showcase animating fairy. Okay, so this is uh, non foil. We get another showcase, Shepherd of the Flock. Merchant of the Vale, okay, so three showcases in that slot. A Thornwood Falls, that's a little uninspiring Eldraino. A Full Art or Extended Art, Castle Garenbrig, it's a land and spadeful, tap unless you control the forest. Tap it for green for two and two green, tap add six green, spend this mana only cast creature spells or activate abilities of creatures. Oh, nice one, a Foil Murderous Rider. Creature Zombie Knight, 2-3 for 3 with Swift End, 1 and 2 Black, Instant Adventure, Destroy Target Creature or Planeswalker. You lose 2 life and it has Life Link when it dies, put it on the bottom of its owner's library. And we get a bear token with some food. Okay, so let's lay things out up here. So we've got our rares. So that is Eldraine's Offering. Nothing much in the rest. Okay, on to Theros Beyond Death. And I would be really happy to get some foil titans. That would be fantastic. Starting off here with Unknown Shores. Chain to Memory. Hyrax Tower Scout. We've got an Island. Mogus's Favor. Satessan Petitioner. Timeret Chosen from Death. Agonizing Remorse. A Foil Forest, nice one, and I should point out, if you've missed any of the previous year's Christmas specials, I'll chuck a link in the corner, you can check them out, okay, so nice forest and island, okay, I forgot there were two of those, Mind Rack Harpy, and the rare is a Full Art Thassa's Oracle, 132, Creature Murphy Wizard, when it enters Badford, look at the top X cards of your library, where X is your devotion to blue. Put up to one of them on top of your library, and the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. If X is greater than or equal to the number of cards in your library, you win the game. And next up, we get a foil, Temple of Plenty. And Badfield tap when it enters Badfield Sky 1, tap for green or white. We also get Renata, called to the hunt. That's a pretty common one, along with a Foil Timeret Chosen from Death. So both of those showcase Human Soldier and Wolf. No Goat in that one, alas. That's probably my favorite token in the set. On to Ikoria. Now, is this where we can get some Godzilla goodness? I really hope so. Okay, things are different than I'm used to. All right, so we've got a dinosaur beast token with the human soldier on the other side. Essence symbiote, Dranath healer, spontaneous flight, spring jaw trap, flourishing fox. That was a good one in the cycling deck, so I'll chuck a link in the corner in case you missed that video. Ivy elemental, get a swamp. 
and a mythic Kazuo Ruthless Stalker 3 3 for 4. Partner with Ukima Stalking Shadow. Whenever a creature you control does combat damage to a player, put a plus one plus one counter on that creature. So that's from one of the commander decks. Okay, good deal. And Karuga the Macro Sage. Extended out. Legendary creature Dinosaur Hippo. Four, 5 4 for 5. With companion, your starting deck contains only cards with command mana cost 3 or greater and land cards. And when Karuga the Macro Sage enters the battlefield, draw a card for each other permanent you control with commander mana cost 3 or greater. This is a non foil. Foil Death's Oasis Enchantment for 3. Whenever a non-token creature you control dies, put the top two cards you library into your graveyard, then return a creature covered lesser command mana cost than that creature that died from your graveyard to your hand. And for one suck it, you gain life equal to the greatest command mana cost among creatures you control. And a migratory great horn comic book art, along with the pouncing shore shark. Hilarious. And another mythic. Narset of the ancient way that calls for a bell ringing. Yes, it does. Okay. So we get Legendary Planeswalker Narset, 4 loyalty for 4, her plus 1 you gain 2 life, add blue, red or white, spend this mana, only cast a non-creature spell, minus 2, draw a card, then you may discard a card, when you discard a non-land card this way, Narset of the Ancient Way, deals damage to that card's command, mana cost 2 target creature or Planeswalker, minus 6, you get an emblem with whenever you cast a non-creature spell, this emblem deals 2 damage to any target, so this is probably the best pack yet. And another rare, Gigan Cyberclaw Terra! Okay, I need to hold it by the thing there, there we go. Led rare creature, Demon Kraken, 6-6 six, six for 6 mana. So this is the alternate Godzilla artwork for Gairuda Doom of Depths, which was another deck tech I did, a fun one, I'll check a link in the corner to that. This one has Companion, your staying deck contains only cards with even command mana costs. And when Guy Ruder enters the battlefield, each player puts the top four cards of Larry into their graveyard. Put a Critch card with an even command mana cost from among those cards onto the battlefield under your control. Nice milling action and a foil Volpakeet. Okay, so that was a crazy pack. Next up, Core 2021. So we can see right away Ikoria shoots into the lead here. Let's see. Okay, so we've got a very bland... Forest, secure the scene, so this is Core Set 2021. Capture Sphere for all your Pokemon needs. Sabretooth, Molar, Garrett's Uprising. Teferi's Tutelage, a very nice Plains. Veto, Thorn of the Dusk Grows, a dream creature, Vampire Cleric, 1, 3 for 3. Whenever you gain life, target opponent loses that much life for 3 and 2 black. Creature you control gain life link until end of turn. <laughs> We get a foil extended art conspicuous snoop creature goblin rogue two 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 play with the top card of your library to reveal do make cast goblin spells from the top of your library as long as the top card of your library is a goblin card conspicuous snoop has all the activated abilities of that card fantastic and another rare demonic embrace foil extended art enchantment aura for three enchant creature the enchanted creature gets plus three plus one has flying and is a demon in addition to its other types. You may cast Demonic Embrace from your graveyard by paying for your life and discarding a card in addition to paying its other costs. And a Garrix Gorhorn. Liliana's Steward. Another rare. Okay, so this is giving Ikoria a run for its money. Containment Priest. Extended Art Creature Human Cleric 2252 with Flash. If a non token creature would enter the battlefield and it wasn't cast, exile it instead. And a foil to Fairy's Protege. Liliana's Devotee Foil. And an angel with a griffin on the back. Okay, so let's see. Three, four, five there. Four. So core 2021. I'm not quite sure of the values. I think Ikoria probably has the edge at this point. Let's check out Zendikar Rising. We have Mesa Lynx. Namana Skitter Sneak. Seagate Colossus Disenchant. Turn Timber Ascetic. Amara Mystic. Song Mad Treachery on the other side, we've got the Song Mad Ruins Full Art Island, and the rare is Archon of Ameria. Creature Archon 2 3 for 3 with flying. Each player can't cast more than one spell each turn. Non basic lands your opponent's control into the battlefield tapped. Pop that over there. A foil Bright Climb Pathway tap for white, and on the other side, spoilers Grim Climb Pathway tap for black. 
Also get a Skyclave Squid. Is he foil? No, he isn't, but he is a showcase. A Coombe Hellhound showcase. And a Lotus Cobra. Creature Snake, 2-1 for 2. With landfall, whenever land ends battlefield under your control, add one mana of any color. So we've got the showcase version here. Very nice. And a foil Skyclave Squid. With another rare. Okay, Undo Inversion. Foil Extended Art. Destroy all non land permanents for eight. It's a sorcery. And on the other side, Undo Sky Ruins. Enter the battlefield. Tap, tap for white. And finally, Illusion Token with a plant on the other side. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings. And be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. Okay, so Commander Legends. Can you turn things around here? Let's see. We have Fleshbag Marauder, which uh, looks a bit like me after Thanksgiving or Christmas dinner. Champion of the Flame, Deranged Assistant, Farhaven Elf, Squad Captain, Thought Vessel, there we go, Thought Vessel Foil, nice one, Horizon Scholar, Alharu Solemn Ritualist for a Legendary, along with Helana Kessig Ranger, and a Mythic Soulfire Eruption, Sorcery for 9. Choose any number of target creatures, planeswalkers, and or players for each of them. So the top card of your library then. So far, eruption deals damage equal to that card's convert mana cost to that permanent or player. You may play the XO cards until the end of your next turn. Okay, foil mythic, can't complain. Seb McKinnon artwork, fantastic. Kumbarge, witches, creature human, wizard, 1 3 for 2. Tap, it deals 1 damage to any target, 1 damage to any target of an opponent's choice. Another rare here, wrong turn. <clears throat> with the extended R, instant for three. Target opponent gains control of target creature. And, oh, a foil etched. I forgot about these. Okay, itch techic salvage splicer. Let's see if we can get some more lighting on that. Okay, a foil etched mythic Queen Marchesa. Nice, legendary creature, human assassin. Three, three, for four with death touch and haste. When it enters the battlefield, you become the monarch. Beginning of your upkeep, if an opponent is the Monarch, create a 1 1 Black Assassin Creature token with Death Touch and Haste. Very nice. And another rare. Okay, so I think Commander Legends takes the cake with the number of rares. Not sure about value. We have Hans Ericsson, the Dream Creature Human Scout, 1 4 for 4. So whenever he attacks, through the top card of your library, if it's a creature card, put it onto the battlefield, tapped an attacking defending player or planeswalker they control. Otherwise, put that card into your hand. When you put a creature card onto the battlefield this way, it fights Hans Ericsson. Okay, another foil etched with a spirit and zombie. Okay, so I will find out during editing how well we did. Definitely Ikoria stands out here. Some good stuff in Zendikar Rising. Even Core 2021 puts in a showing. And of course, Commander Legends. We have six rares or mythics. Fantastic. So did you predict that? Let me know in the comments. I hope everyone's staying safe and healthy out there. Have a fantastic Christmas and New Year. I know it's been a terrible year for everybody, but hopefully 2021 will turn things around. Got a lot of cool stuff planned. Thanks for watching and have a great day.